I sat on the bench and, you know, obviously conscious and everything. So I, I looked at Soupy and, and asked him if it looked bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys know Soupy, so the look on his face uh, said it all. And then Gapper came over and told me to, to, to go down in the room. So I didn't really know. I couldn't feel my mouth. It was kind of numb. I remember being confident in our group. I felt like we were a big, you know, fast skating team. I, I felt like we were just a little bit quicker than, than yeah. San Jose for whatever reason. Everybody kind of was playing at their best at this point. It had been a long playoff run. But going into game four, up 3-0, this play happens. Hawks on the power play, and Dunks takes one in the chops. What do you remember about that? I knew it wasn't good. I don't think it felt as bad as maybe it's, it, it sounds. It losing all those teeth. It did, but I didn't have any of my lip cut or anything yeah. like that. So it was kind of weird that way. I lost all my teeth, but I was pretty lucky. I turned my head, I think, and it just got basically just grazed my, my teeth and knocked them all out. But, you know, you'd think that I would have had to get a stitch in my, my mouth or my lip, but it was nothing like that. It was just losing all my teeth. I was your D partner on the power play here, and obviously you weren't helping out defensively after taking that in the chops. What was it, three on one there? Taser comes back. I don't know what I'm doing playing defense. <laughs> they score, it goes 2 0. Six side of the net, Brett scores! Patrick Marlowe has done it again. It's 2 to nothing, Shards. And they started pulling shards of teeth out of my mouth and you know, gauze and, and, and putting the needle in my mouth to numb it up. So they just numb it up, they take the teeth, peel them out of your mouth. How many teeth did you lose? They ended up taking out the top four and the bottom six. So they're all fake now. And there you see it hit Duncan Keith. You got mouthpiece flying, teeth flying. So all of a sudden we're thinking, Dunks, you're gone, man. Like, your mouth just exploded. And then it's like two or three minutes later, all of a sudden you look down and there's Dunk, he's got a mouthful of toilet paper, or gauze, whatever you were chewing on. And he just looked like, yeah, what, what do you mean? Like, of course I'm back. You didn't miss a shift. Is it like, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking I don't want to go back to San Jose. <laughs> I want to get the series over with and move on. In the middle of playoffs, if you can figure out a way to travel less and yeah. close out a series, that's obviously what you want to do. So that was kind of my focus, was just trying to get the job done. I think the, the biggest thing we had going for us was obviously we had good skill, but our team chemistry that year, I don't know if I've ever been a part of a team that, that had the chemistry off the ice like that team did. I think we genuinely had a like for one another where everybody could go for dinner with one yeah. another. And, and so when we got to the finals, I really felt like we wanted to do it for each other and that was a big reason why we won. Who knows a good dentist, by the way? Anyone got a dentist?